Alaska. So I'm a Dallas native, born and raised, and I live in Plano, Texas. I've been collecting figures since as long as I can walk, and my parents have been purchasing them for me until I was able to buy my own. Now my collection is at its highest peak, and we're up to about 150, so let's check out what I have. So my collection consists of mostly six inch figures. I like to collect DC and Marvel, uh, but my favorites are the Japanese imported figures like Figma, Rebel Tech, ISH Figure Arts, as well as D Arts. The Mega Man one's actually one of my favorites. But as of lately, I've mostly been getting Marvel Legends. Got the Hall of Armor here and a few rabbits over here. DC is just all over the place, really. What I can get my hands on, I probably will. Mostly Batman as well. Right over here, I'm a big X Men fan, so I've got. Quite the selection over here, Populous being the best one out of all of these. And then you got Deadpool right here. And this shelf right here is just miscellaneous, as you can tell. But I mostly use this to take photography on my Instagram, at RetroLandry. So I've always been a big Spider-Man fan, but what I really like about Spider-Man the most is Venom. The actual symbiote. Not so much Eddie Brock or Flash Thompson or Mad Guardian or whoever it is, but the symbiote itself and its spawn. So I've got a few little variations right here, Anti-Venom, Normal Venom, Flash Sauce of Venom, and then one that I painted myself on the Thunderbolts, as well as Toxin. I'm missing a card, but I'll get them soon. Another type of figure that I like is Kid Robot, just because they're very urban, real, polite type deal. And they also do plenty of collaborations like Street Fighter, Futurama, Adult Swim, things like that. And I just really like the artist's appeal for them, and it just it's more of a real collective type deal on their... The only thing about them is that they're a lot more expensive, so I limit myself to the blind box. $10 ones, keep it cheap for myself. My prized possession is this Juggernaut statue that my friends pushed them for to give me one Christmas. I think it was about two years ago. And it's like having a little piece of them, you know? There was about 10 other guys, really close friends of mine. And it's just right there, just right where I can see it. Just reminds me of what I mean to them and what they mean to me. So my second prized possession is this Ghostface Killer doll that I got from my friend Chris Colon. I remember getting it either for my birthday or Christmas a couple years ago, but it's really legit. It's just, back then I was really into old, old school hip hop music, still kind of am, but I mean, the figure itself just has sentimental value too. Um, the figure is very rare. I had to get it from a specific website, just wasn't expecting it, but he got it for me and it's amazing. Like, he's got some, it's only about six cash braces. The figure was on Jimmy Kimmel Live. He doesn't have the gold chain or the eagle, but I mean, that thing's expensive anyway. Like, I, I just like having this itself. Another piece of my collection is my comic books, which ranges from new and old, mostly new. And here and there, I'll get some old stuff. Fanny Gauntlet, not that old. Um, Phoenix Saga, not that old, or well, it's a little bit older than that. Old Man Logan, it's newer. Some of the newer stuff, I got Raphael, Wiper Series, signed by Mouse Cutter Artist and Creator. And then I got the first appearance of Dark Phoenix, created. And some of my biggest, best collection and uh, item from Found Books is TMNT number four, the original series. Also autographed by Kevin Eastman on the inside cover right here. So oh, that's my collection. My name is Henry Velasquez. You can follow me on Instagram at RetroMemory.